Welcome into the Thunder Basketball Universe presented by Coop Illworks. We've been taking this TBU on the road recently last week and came to you live from Las Vegas. And now we are in Waco, Texas, AKA the house that Kenrich built. We are in his old high school, University High, yes. the Trojans. Yes. And so Kenrich, you gotta tell us about this school, man. I mean, yeah. cause I feel like this is this is your house. Yeah, for sure. No, this is uh, this is home right here. Uh, this is University High School. This is the U, is what we the call U. it, the U. Uh, it's a legendary school here in Waco. Uh, I would say kind of, we're the more basketball school here in Waco. There's two two high schools, mainly two high schools in Waco, Waco High and University. And we're kind of looked on as the the, the school kind of who produces basketball players. So, uh, you know, you got other schools like Midway and stuff, but here in Waco is, is – uh, it's university. I mean, this school is just, it means a lot to me. Uh, and I really do appreciate you guys coming down. Yeah. We were so excited yeah. to come down here. Yeah. yeah. When we got the, the invite, we were like, this <laughs> is great. It's right up the road. Not too many yeah, hours right. to get yeah. here, you know, four yeah. hours, five easy, hours. Easy drive. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about a little bit about your history here. I understand yeah. you, you made the team as a junior, right? Yeah. So maybe a little bit later. I mean, this is yeah. like all... Right. Along the same lines of your yes. story of yes. like having to fight for everything for sure. you got. For sure, man. Uh, so my freshman year, I was about 5'10". Five, five, so I, I was kind of short and I was, I was having growing pains. My knees hurt bad. So I was on freshman team then. Uh, my sophomore year, I kind of spurred it up. I grew to about 6'3". I was still on JV. Kind of wasn't really... I was still hurting, so I couldn't get around like that. <laughs> no. um, but, you know, junior and senior year... Uh, I got to play varsity, and my my whole career here, uh, my four years here, I had some incredible coaches like mm -hmm. Coach Felix, who you see out there today. Uh, Coach Smith, he couldn't be here uh, today, uh, but man, my whole Coach Lloyd, uh, man, my whole coaching staff, you know, growing up, kind of instilled like when you see me play, it's, it's a kind of uh, a face card of them, and, and kind of resemble resembles them a lot. And you all had some pretty good success here, yeah. right? During oh, yeah, that time, sure, I think yeah. I, I think I saw a banner up there, yeah, 30, yeah, 30 and yeah, seven. For or sure, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 put some banners up. Yeah, yeah, light work, man. We put we put some banners up for sure. Yeah. Well, we know how important Waco is to you, and clearly you've spent your off season here. Just yeah. how how has your off season been? What's it like coming back to man, Waco? Man, it's, it's, it's always it's it's always a good a great feeling. Uh, just humbling feeling. Mm -hmm. Like like this is where everything started for me. So, mm -hmm. like. You're able to kind of reset uh, after the season, come back here, reset, like, my mind, and I get, like, something in my mind switches. And it's like I'm motivated when I come stay here yeah. to get ready for the season. Um, but, man, this this uh, little city means a lot to me. It's, it's growing. Uh, and, yeah, so. Yeah, so what does that mean then? You're here, obviously, you're – in the middle of getting mobbed by these kids yeah. at camp. Um, right. yeah. What's this been like for you to be able to give back in this way? Oh, it's been great, man. It's been great. Uh, like I said before, man, it's a, it's a way better feeling to be able to give back than, than scoring mm. points and making all this money and, you know, winning games and stuff like that. To be able to be here, uh, kind of being a light for these kids, uh, it means so much to me, you know, just because, you know, I was once in their position, so. Uh, yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, you, you see the shirt that he's wearing, Kenrich oh, yeah. Williams Basketball Camp. That's the reason we're here today. Yes, yes. This is a big deal. <laughs> and the, it, you told us earlier that the camp's kind of grown a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So what, what's it been like seeing more and more kids now starting yeah, to show up at yeah. this camp? Man, so last year was our first year, and we had about 100 kids. Uh, this year is our second year. We had 300 kids. Uh, got another camp going uh, later. Uh, but, to, you know, to be able to see the growth, uh it's amazing man it's it's really it's kind of like my journey starting from the bottom mm -hmm. and kind of kind of having more more kids every year and just kind of getting more organized yeah. as a uh as a group we are uh but it, it's great and we do want to talk to you just about the off season how yeah. things have been for you oh, yeah. your wrist oh, what's yeah. the latest and greatest how you feeling yeah man, i'm i'm cleared back to 100% and i'm feeling great uh I'm, i've been getting some good rehab here back home good uh, i'm fortunate that Baylor was was fortunate enough to open up their uh their facility to me and let me kind of come in here and train and and work out uh so but this summer has been 
probably my best summer as far as like having a routine with you know playing and lifting weights and everything so and balancing dad life too so yeah yeah, dad. So, so, yeah you can't dad, forget that dad for the second time for sure, yeah that's yeah. where the real training yeah. happens yeah, that's that's a real training so <laughs> i haven't been doing a lot of traveling like that um just because a newborn and everything but but it's it's uh giving me more time to be with my family and mm. and spend some time here in my hometown yeah you know, Damn. when you're on the road, that's when you get your rest sure. now. It's not, sure. it's, it's, oh, it for used sure. to be the other way It around. used to be the other yeah. way, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nick lo- knows yeah. the dad yeah. life oh, all yeah. too well. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got to connect with some of the guys at Summer League. Yeah, right? I did. Yeah, just did. tell me a little bit about just getting back together. I did, man. Yeah, it's, it's always good to see see the guys, man, uh, and to be able to play with the guys. So I was able to play with them. Uh, and, man, everybody looks good, man. I'm excited for the season. I met the Rooks. Uh, man, I'm excited about them. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to to getting out there and getting after it with the guys. You got Kaysen from Texas yeah, too, yeah, so yeah, we got a yeah. couple of oh, yeah. couple of Texas teammates oh, now. Oh yeah, that's big. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to playing with him and uh, and Keontae as well. So looking forward to it. Between the off season that you told us that you had uh-huh. and the off season that we've seen from the other guys at summer league, we are very yeah, excited right, for right. this upcoming <laughs> season. Kenrich, thank you so much for taking the thank time. You. Congratulations on a very successful yeah. camp. Thank you so we'll much. We'll let you get back to work thank now. <laughs> Don't go anywhere though. We will be right back with more Thunder Basketball Universe after this. Coop L Works is the proud sponsor of Thunder Basketball Universe. Brewers of the fan favorites F5 IPA and 99 calorie ice chest IPA. You'll find those and many more Coop beers at retailers across Oklahoma. Learn more at CoopLWorks.com. Well, we added an extra face to this podcast. A very special guest, the one and only Mark Dagnall joining us here in Waco, Texas, of all places, <laughs> yes, which sir. is such a surprise, and we're so happy to have you. Yes, sir. I've heard so much about Waco. I had to come down and see it for myself, and University High School. Yes. I've heard all about yeah. it, so yeah. I was like, all right, i got to see what the commotion is. Yeah, yeah well, Mark, we, I mean, you talk all the time that it's not just about X's and O's in terms of the, the relationships that you have with these guys. It, it really takes understanding them um, at their core. How important are these types of trips for you to really tap into to guys like Kenrich and where they come from? Well, I, with this one, I didn't really need to come here because he's, uh, this is a part of who he is. Yeah. You know, he's made that very known. Uh, Waco and University High School are, are huge parts of his life and they're his roots to its core. So uh, it's great getting down here, though, seeing all these kids that he's impacting, how much pride he has, and it's very cool. Can you imagine him as one of those little kids, like, running around, tackling each other and, you know, doing <laughs> all that stuff? Definitely tackling the, each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of physicality, that's for sure. Uh, Mark, we were just talking to Kenrich about Summer League and what he's seen, or he got a chance to connect with some of the guys out there. For you, from a coaching perspective, what are, what are some of the things that you're looking for when you're out there in, in Las Vegas or, or Salt Lake? Yeah, not a ton. I mean, just getting a baseline on the players, the guys that are coming back, uh, seeing where they're at after mm-hmm. a summer of work, the new guys just figuring out where their starting point is. And then the best thing about Vegas is all these guys come out. Yeah. So. Uh, we get to kind of reconnect as a group and they get time together and the new players, new faces get to meet some of our our veteran or existing players. And so uh, it's just a great touch point in the summertime. We don't Mm -hmm. we don't overanalyze it or anything like that. It's just great to get everybody together. You guys all talked at the end of the season about, you know, anything that you get next year, you're going to have to earn all over again. You don't walk into the season with anything. At the same time, though, you all have been building now for for three years. How how good is it to see kind of that building process continue over the course of the summer that you're not having to reteach everything um, to this group of guys. Yeah, every, I'm going to let him take that one because yeah. he's as equipped to answer that as I am. <laughs> in terms, he's been here for from the from the ground floor. I, I'm, I think is I think it's big. I think summer league is big just because the guys who existed already playing, uh, they get to play with the, the rooks and the younger guys as well. So we're kind of teaching them the game, teaching them the concepts of of what we do as a team, um, and that that carries on, of course, and onto the season. So, yeah. 
just we also want to hear about uh, how everybody's off season has been. We were talking about dad life here, which yeah. I obviously yeah. have no experience <laughs> with. But you've all got some some dad time, I assume, during sure. off season as well. Plenty. Yeah, yeah sure. we. I was just I just saw Desiree and I was just comparing notes. <laughs> yeah. 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 My daughter's sleeping better than his daughter, so that's okay. a huge advantage. I think his daughter's eating better than my daughter. So <laughs> oh, it's we it's, be now. it's not. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. We're, we're, gonna, gonna we're gonna check in. We're just comparing notes. We're just comparing notes, but. Uh, yeah, it's been great you having an off season. Yeah, yeah, it's part of the the you got to decompress a little bit, especially with a young family, as Kemrish knows, mm -hmm. uh, and that's been wonderful. So I hope you've enjoyed the same. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Kemrish, I was saying like, it used to be on the road. That's when you were really tired. You yeah. know, now now when you're on the road, that's when you get your rest. Yeah, like yeah, when you're when true. you're at home, it's all systems go. Sure. The best yeah. advice yeah. I ever got somebody right before we had our first uh, AJ, somebody that had kids told me. You know, whatever you do, don't tell your wife how much you sleep on the <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like that the best, yourself. that's the best parent. Of, so that now I just lie. I'm like, right. hey, I couldn't sleep last night. I thought I heard the <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. You know? yeah, don't my, tell anybody. My little secret is, you know, I wake up at 6.30 or whatever to do the FaceTime back home. And then oh, I, was just, I was up working. I was up working. And really maybe, maybe get an extra like half an hour, 45 right. minutes to sleep sure. after that. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> But there's also a lot of work happening in the off season too. Obviously, you're here in Waco. You're doing camps and working yep. out. You're telling us how great your off season has been. Mm -hmm. Just with everything that you've seen and the work being put in this off season, how much are you looking forward to seeing it all in action in training camp, all the pieces together? Yeah, that's the best part, you know, of the summer. And in in our particular case, we've got uh, a lot of young players that grow quickly yeah. with summers. And we've also got really committed players, guys mm -hmm. that get the most out of their summer. I think K. Rich has had probably his best physical summer of his career. And so, you know, when everybody's individually kind of hammering away at that, uh, and then you bring everybody back together uh, in the fall, it's exciting because your yeah. team, even if a lot of faces mm -hmm. don't change, uh, your team changes and evolves uh, with the work in the summer. And that's something we've been able to capitalize on to this point. Kendrick, my last thing is, you know, what's it mean to have your head coach here in your hometown and oh, get to share this with him? Uh, man, it means a lot, man. It means a lot to me. Uh, just the relationship that we got, uh, him taking the time out, pretty sure busy, dad life, just being able to come down here uh, and be here in the flesh, like, it's, 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 very, uh, it's be very big to me, man. And I, I really do appreciate it. Coach. Yeah, man. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Love being here. Appreciate if you it. had to take Mark to one restaurant here in Waco, where would it oh, be? Oh, good question. Uh, probably for all y'all, just probably VTEX. VTEX, little barbecue spot. Okay. Okay. Check it out, man. Get you, a, some good, Texas get you a good pet. It's called a good pet. So <laughs> okay. check it out. Okay. If I know him, he's having you to the house. He's having you. He's making uh, a plate. Right. The house. <laughs> that's he's, that's, that's right. more his speed. He's that's not right. a dog that's dinner right. guy. The Cambridge that's Williams right. Cafe. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> well, we appreciate both of you guys taking time out to do this yeah, podcast. Yeah, it's one of our favorite podcasts that we've done. This is so special to us. So thank yeah, you thank so you much. Thank Thanks, guys. And thank you so much for watching and listening. Be sure to like, rate, and subscribe wherever you get your podcast. Thank you so much to our producer. And until next time, thunder up and catch you later.